Hi everyone, thank you for watching and welcome back to Perfect Smiles with me, Dr. Sarah Sidek, aka Dr. Gum Gums. A channel designed to deliver you up-to-date dental care advice to help you maintain a healthy mouth. Today's video is a continuation of the gum disease series. If you haven't watched the previous video, please make sure you click on it, the link is provided below. This is a really big topic, so I've produced a series of videos to cover the signs and symptoms of gum disease, including those you can look for yourself, the causes of gum disease, and how to treat it. To begin with, I'm going to be answering the question of what causes gum disease. To understand gum disease, we need to be aware that our mouths are colonized by nearly 700 different species of bacteria. Most of these bacteria are completely harmless, and they all live in harmony with our host, the mouth. However, when we don't clean our teeth thoroughly enough, bacterial deposits build up next to the gums and form a plaque. So that sticky, um, fluffy white stuff that you sometimes may see around your gum margins is actually filled with millions of bacteria. This plaque provides the ideal condition for bad bacteria to flourish. This soft bacterial plaque can be removed by brushing your teeth. If it's not removed by brushing your teeth, then it builds up and causes an irritation on your gums making them become red, swollen, and sore. Worse than this still is that if the plaque deposits are not removed by brushing, minerals can be deposited in the plaque and the plaque eventually hardens to form a substance called calculus. And I'm not talking about mathematical study. The presence of calculus encourages the growth of the bacterial plaque closer towards the roots of your teeth. So the inflammation process progresses deeper and the attachment of your gums to the root of your teeth is disrupted by forming a gap, which we call a periodontal pocket. Now this pocket is the ideal place for bacteria to flourish. They love it there. They will multiply and progress the disease even further. The bacteria also produce toxins as a byproduct of their living and this triggers our own body's defense mechanisms. The severity and speed of progression of periodontitis depends on a balance of a number of combined factors. These include the number and type of bacteria present, how strong our own individual defense mechanisms are, and the presence or absence of other risk factors, such as diabetes and smoking. Both of these factors can weaken the body's defense mechanisms and cause the disease to progress. Now, while it is important to understand that there are risk factors involved in gum disease, gum disease wouldn't happen without the presence of plaque on your teeth, which is why brushing is so crucial. Thank you very much for watching this episode on what causes gum disease. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll be discussing what you can do to prevent gum disease. If you have any questions, please, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll make sure I get back to you. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take and see you soon. Bye-bye.